Now, for all the mamas and, and, and for all the grandmamas that's about to turn the TV off, because here come that hippity hippity. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't leave, because I promise you, this is different. Because first, I want you to get to know the person. This brother is so serious about his faith that his degree is in theology. He is an educated, educated, intellectual young black man that's got the mind behind the music. And just for a minute, tell them your background. Tell them what you studied, what you're going on. Because I want them to get a chance to connect with what I've connected with. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> y'all crazy. Um, <laughs> my name is Emmanuel Lambert, Jr. Um, grew up, I grew up in a Christian home, in a Christian household. My parents, they, they uh, were intentional in, about making an exaggerated effort to uh, teach me the scriptures. Um, every night we had to know a Bible verse before we ate dinner. Um, every night we, they, we were responsible for reading the scriptures. They saw to it that we prayed. They dragged us to church by our ears every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And um, when I got older, um, I, I, I basically made, made, made the faith that once was only my mother's my own and, and mm. my father's my own. Mm. Uh, eventually, I realized, I said, man, I want to I wanna communicate God's heart. But I realized that when I read the scriptures, there was over a 2,000-year gap. There's a cultural gap. You know, you, uh, my grandmom's 80, and, you know, there's a gap between us. You know, if I say, uh, yo, grandma, that was hot. My grandma is going to say, oh, baby, did you get burned? Because cause, cause there's a cultural gap. To, oh, no, 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 I got to explain. No, no, no. That's that good. means it, 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 was, it was good. It was, it was nice. It was decent. It was, if I said back in the day, we used to say that was fat way back in the day. You say, that to, you say that to your grandma, she doesn't understand what you mean. Well, when you read the scriptures, there's such a gap. We don't understand oftentimes what's really going on. So I said, I need to go to school. I said, because I don't just want to communicate God's heart. I want to communicate his heart accurately. I want to communicate his heart precisely. And so I did a year, I did a year in, in the Institution for Jewish Studies. And I did five years at Philadelphia Biblical University. And I got a degree in um, a bachelor's in theology with an interdisciplinary concentration on social work. And now I'm using hip hop as a means to an end. That is to communicate God's heart to this generation there are some there are some that are not even they're not even in the streets there's some in the church absolutely they will say that hip-hop is wrong absolutely they will say hip-hop is sinful there's some that would even speak against your brand of hip-hop absolutely I want to give you the platform to just lovingly just share your heart on what that means to you Absolutely. A lot. There's, um, you know, I, there's, there's a cultural gap. Again, there's a gap between my, you know, my mother and myself, my father and myself, you know, between some of my mothers in the faith and myself, some of my fathers in the faith and myself. And so it's, it's by all means understandable when hip hop is not your preference. It's by all means understand, understandable if you if you got to tune in extra hard to listen, to understand what the rapper on that, you know, they, the pastor brings up on Sunday morning to understand what he's saying. That's understandable because that's not the culture that you assimilated to or grew up in. So we definitely, when I say we, I mean cross movement ministries, we're sensitive to the fact that there's a gap that exists between us. Our appeal to our parents, to our pastors, to our leaders is to embrace what we do for the sake of for the sake of your children for the sake of your youth groups a lot of people don't even know we exist out here a lot of people don't even know we exist out here and so we, we our appeal is to the pastors leaders and parents please embrace embrace the good stuff for your kids i had one lady come up to me and say my son won't stop listening to 50 cent and i said well how old is he he said well he's 12. i said he's 12. i mean at, at 12, you determine, you call the shots, you monitor his music. But the thing is this, but the thing is this, you can't just take 50 cent from him. You gotta put something else in the CD changer. And if you could give him the stuff that's nutritious for him, then you know, then he could, that, that can help him grow in his faith. So let me say this real quick. 
Um, there are some people that are biased towards what we do. They are biased towards how I look. Some people right now have an issue with the way that I came up here, because I didn't come up here with a tie on, because I didn't come up here with a suit on. And some people have those cultural prejudices and biases. Well, let us, let us say this. There's nothing wrong with hip-hop culture. Let me tell you what's wrong. There's something wrong with a heart that's corrupt. And, and it's and what we see in our videos and here on the radio is really what we what the, the corrupt human heart has done with the culture That's it's right. not the culture in and of itself and so we realize that God is by all means we know he did it for us he's the God who redeems not only people but even cultures so he takes the people he takes the people in baggy jeans and oversized t-shirts and he utilizes them for his glory he utilizes them to be missionaries yeah he utilizes them as missionaries to a culture that wouldn't look his direction if it didn't come in this package yeah Oh, uh, you better stop me, Kurt. <laughs> it's, it's, come like it's, it's come get me. Like, like, like it's almost like saying that how some, um, how some Muslims try to say, and, and when I say Muslims, I'm talking about African-American Muslims, yeah. would say that Christianity is bad and it's a white man's religion because white people used it to keep black people Absolutely. enslaved in the early 40s and 50s. But, but, but that doesn't mean that Christianity is bad just because it was abused by ignorant people. Absolutely. 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 You know, there's somebody, there's, there's a team of people out right now, and their, their campaign is that even Christians, this, this, this team, this particular team has young people coming to church, throwing our CDs away. Now, we, 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 we only want to, we only want to elevate the Lord Jesus Christ before the generation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yet this team of people, they've got our generation where God is using us to provide for them not just an alternative but an antidote because the stuff they're hearing all week is poison. He's got, they have them throwing our CDs away. Throwing them away. And you know why? Because the assertion is, or what they maintain is that the hip hop culture, even Christian hip hoppers that don't denounce affiliate, an affiliation with hip hop is satanic. This team of people, they maintain that because of, because in their estimation of hip-hop's origin, which is really faulty, their understanding, but because in their estimation of, of hip-hop's origin, hip-hop is inherently, at the core, evil. And you know what we say to that? Look, give, them, give this team of people the benefit of the doubt. Let's say its origin is evil. Like Kurt just said, if that's the case, you'd have to leave America because the origin of America is wicked. We, 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 we stole someone's land, we killed them, and then we build missionaries. Absolutely. Absolutely. You'd have to stop playing soccer. People would have to stop playing soccer. You know why? Because the origin of soccer started with individuals who they used to, they used to cut off the heads of other individuals and kick it around the Colosseum. And they used to do it unto pagan deities. That's good. So if you're going to judge something on the basis of its origin, you got to be very careful. So even if they did, Paul the Apostle said this. He, he, he dropped the blanket from glory with all, kind, all sorts of animals. And, and Peter looked up and God said, slay it and eat it. And Peter said, how when it's unclean? God said, the thing that I call clean, don't you call unclean. And so all I want to say to, to the people of God today is, please utilize us as missionaries. See us as not just an alternative, but an antidote for your children, for your youth groups. And trust that if you entrust them to us, that we're, we're going to do nothing but seek to elevate their eyes and set their affections on the Lord Jesus Christ. Do the song. Let's go. Am I crystal clear? Listen. 
Was Christ really buried? Is there a chance that he really married Mary and fled over to France? Did they really find his bones with a fine tooth comb? Or did he walk out of his tomb to a throne? Was he God? Was he not? Was he alive when they dropped him in the tomb? Did he swoon? Was he moved? Was he removed by delusional dudes that refused to believe in the truth when they fools? Were the disciples hallucinating? Was the truth evaded because they wanted to boost his ratings? Did the Catholic Church from the Vatican work to kick in the back and dirt under the rug? Was he God from above? If he was, do you blink? Do you shrug? Do you hate? Do you love? Was he God from above? If he was, do you blink? Do you shrug? Do you hate? Do you love? Christ on a poster, Christ of the culture, Christ on the stained glass, Christ of the future, Christ on the videos, Christ on the radio, Christ of Da Vinci, what does he really know? Christ at award shows, Christ that the Lord knows, Christ that's sure to come back in his war clothes. And which Christ do you believe? You gotta know before you leave. Listen, yes, he did arrive. Yes, he was alive. No, he wasn't married, never had any wives. Yes, he did rise days after he died. What can I say? Yes, he is God. From the womb to the tomb to his throne Nobody in Rome could hold on to his bones Cause there were no bones to be held His bones wouldn't be held Who would have known there was Jehovah on the DL Providing forgiveness Our lives are offensive He died to put you and I in a friendship With himself Pain is felt when the glorious gospel is exchanged for wealth Forget about how the spades were dealt And think of how you measure up when you weight on the scale One law, one faith, I plug One law, one Christ, one judge Christ on a poster, Christ on a culture Christ on a stained glass, Christ in the future Christ on the videos, Christ on the radio Christ of Da Vinci, what does he really know? Christ at award shows, Christ that the Lord knows Christ that's sure to come back in his war clothes In which Christ do you believe? You gotta know before you leave, let's leave